Morning guys. It's Sunday something. Seems a bit better today. Um probably the best morning I've had in the new year, which is good. That's on Uber. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about though was hybrid versus a diesel. Um and you got hybrid petrol, uh, hybrid petrol, hybrid diesel, and diesel. Um, I've just, I just had my Air Ford C Max 1.5 diesel automatic on the road for a good few months over Christmas. Uh, I'm back settling the car now, uh, which is a Kia Niro 2 1.6 petrol electric hybrid. Um, and I want to talk to you about it because I've always trying to figure out like what's best and all stuff like that. Now, if you put aside any government ruling or any low emission zones or anything like that and purely mile per gallon right um, it, it really depends on what you do so as an example if you're a local taxi firm taking Betty to get a haircut throughout the day and you're just going around the local shops taking people to the rides there and even on Uber Uber only to go around the city centre small driving get yourself an electric hybrid petrol because um, the mile per gallon is so much better around town but here's the big one especially in this Kia Niro I'm, I'm talking from experience for the Kia Niro Kia Niro let's say hybrids not talking about Toyota Priuses or nothing like that um, this Kia Niro right um, I've just done a little big run um, and it was like motorway for about 20, 20 odd mile 30 mile and I set my cruise control for 60 mile an hour, uh, 60 mile an hour stayed in the slow lane solid flat motorway not uphill not downhill flat and on this car it tells you what you're averaging but also it's got a bar that moves of what you're getting live um, so when you're driving around town it'll drop down and then the electric engine will kick in and it'll be full because you won't use that hardly any juice stuff like that and I literally spent the full time on the motorway 60 mile an hour cruise control and it was flicking around the late 30 late 30s mile per gallon like 38 mile per gallon on the motorway which is terrible um, but then around town it does really well where me C-Max my Ford C-Max 1.5 diesel automatic that used to do a high 60s even early 70s if you took it easy on the pedal on the motorway in the long run um, so you know what I'm trying to get out of here don't you it is literally what you do as a mainly as a job if you're a local taxi firm um, if your local taxi firm just lets you go around doing local streets, don't really go over 30 mile an hour much, you know what I mean? Dead local work. One million percent get an electric hybrid. One million percent. You'll feel the benefits massively. On the other end of the scale, if you mainly do motorway runs, or if you're like work for Uber, who just sit in the airport queue and just doing big motorway runs, one, two a day, get a diesel. Get a diesel. Um, because the hybrids they just can't match the diesels on the motorway on long runs because what happens is most hybrids petrol hi electric hybrids they have a small petrol engine so this has got a 1.6 petrol engine I think they're like the Prius is like a 1.8 so the Prius might do better mile per gallon on the motorway than the Kia Nero but in general when you're on a motorway run and you're doing 60 mile an hour your electric engine is not working or hardly working so you're mainly using the petrol engine you know what I mean so if you mainly do airport runs or if you mainly sit in the airport queue with Uber and just do airport runs get yourself a diesel or at least at least get yourself an electric um, hybrid diesel like the Mercedes E300 because what happens is when you're doing a big motorway run um, the electric engine stops working but you still got a great 2.2 litre um, a diesel engine which is brilliant and then if you're doing a little bit out around town work uh, you've got the electric engine obviously taking a bit of the bad mile per gallon from the diesel um, but yeah they, they, they're my recommendations if you literally do around town driving or if you do obviously work for like Amazon Flex stuff like that and you're doing around town deliveries get an electric hybrid they are the future they are great you know what I mean um, but diesels, you cannot beat a diesel on the motorway run. 
you still can't. So if you literally do airport runs or you work for an airport transfer company, get a diesel, get a decent diesel, even if it's a Skoda Octavia or something like that, get a good diesel and it, you'll get loads of miles per gallon out of it, better than a hybrid. Um, where the problem lies is what you do in the middle. I do mixed, uh, but I'm edging towards doing just airport runs. Uh, so in the future, uh, I will be getting a diesel or a diesel hybrid for airport runs. At the moment, I'm doing mixed, but mainly around town. So that's why I'm sticking to the electric hybrid uh, for now. Uh, but as as time goes on, I will be edging towards a, a diesel electric or a high or a big engine petrol hybrid. You see, you need that support and engine um, for the airport runs. So when that electric engine runs out on the motorway, you've still got a half decent engine. You know what I mean? The Kia Niro is a big car to run that on the motorway with more than more than me passengers on a 1.6 petrol engine. You probably get around 20 miles per gallon with the car full, not even messing. Um, so yeah, just to um, end the video, if you just mainly do around town driving, get yourself um, an electric petrol hybrid. If you just do big motorway runs or mainly do motorway runs, um, get yourself a diesel. If you do a little bit of mixed, probably recommend a diesel an electric hybrid or a, a safer bet a diesel electric hybrid like the Mercedes E300 that'll do better average you know what I mean but the diesel will probably still do better on the motorways you know what I mean um, but yeah that's what I say so because you see a lot of people like sitting off in like electric hybrid cars and uh, uh, Uber queue at Manchester airport I don't know why go into the city centre Work those smaller trips, you use hardly any juice and you'll make more profit and you'll reduce it outgoings, you know what I mean? But as I said, this is all my opinion. Anything on this YouTube channel is my opinion. It's not fact, it's literally what I've found. Um, and I'm just obviously trying to help people who's just starting out or didn't know some information. If you do know the information, that's fine. That's fine, you know what I mean? You just wasted seven minutes. <laughs> but if you didn't know the information, you know what I mean? It, it can be useful for people. Uh, if you could do me a favor, guys, if make sure you subscribe to the video so uh, you get all my future videos um, on your YouTube. That would be great. And uh, give us a like and a comment. And, uh, give me your opinion below. Uh, I'd love to hear other people's opinions, bounce ideas off each other and stuff like that. It's great. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Peace out.